Hello, my name is Arthur, and in the last video we modeled up a tank and exported it from Blender and imported it into Godot. So, um, I discovered that I needed to change my material names because they were overlapping the material names in Godot and prevented them from coming in. So I renamed them and and resaved this into the file so that the materials would appear because they had the same names as the previous materials because they were modified versions of the previous materials on the link. So the thing to do now is to import that scene. So we're going to re-import it. We're going to change its root type from to vehicle body. So we'll import that as a vehicle body. And then we'll just open it up and have a look at what we got. So it's facing in the right direction. That's positive. Um, the thing we'll need to do now is to um, build a pathway for the treads to go around the the um, the track. So that's the track for the tread would be probably the best way to think of that. So we'll add in the child. We'll start with the path and let's have a look at the tank because we don't want it this low on the ground so we're going to just move the mesh not the kinematic body so we'll bring the mesh up and probably around there i think a good way to check would be to simply drop um a link into the scene and that way we could see visually when it's oh almost pretty much inside of the link I would say would be right because these links being a little bit inside of the mesh it's going to be fine it's going to look it'll look good that way so that is pretty close I would say to where we want it to be so we can just delete that. Okay, so in the case of the path, um, our script was built with the path as a child of a spatial. So let's do a spatial here and put the path inside of that. And then we'll just draw out our path. Now, I think that the way to go about this is to draw it in the direction that we want it to turn but I'm not really sure that makes a difference that's the way I'm going to do it though so we can turn on snapping and we'll just rough out the path doesn't take a lot of points to to make a pathway around something like this we can close that want to select the edit tool and let's see what happens here um, I'm not sure what went down there oh it's just wildly snapping around on me I'm not sure why it's that crazy it's probably in the snap options so I'm just going to turn it off we'll turn off snap and we won't use it we'll just rough this out as reasonable as we can without using snap so let's just start pulling out the handles make sure they're going in the right directions and stuff and we'll rough out a path for our track to follow And this one. So that's pretty close right there. 
Um, we could probably move these a little bit in. Because the treads going in a little bit is not going to matter much. Okay. So I'm thinking that's pretty, pretty close to what we're looking for here. Close that up. I hope that's considered a closed path there. Not really sure how that works. But I think that will be considered a closed path. I'm not sure why it doesn't actually close these two together. So that's a little unclear to me. We'll just see what happens. Um, we'll put in a path follow. And then our link. Before we put in our link, let's look at our path follow settings. This might help. We're going to change it to oriented. Before we do anything, like drop in our link. And we will see what happens when we parent this. I'm not sure why I can't just parent directly to that. Oh, it did. What do you know? It's magic. Okay, so we need to rotate that by 90 degrees. That's not surprising. That's not what I wanted to see happen, though. So we want, um, which is the front and which is the back. That's the back, that's the front. And we want to move this, um, oh geez. 90 degrees in this direction. So let's have a look at that and see if that looks right. Okay, yeah, that looks right. So that should have everything the way that it should be. Let's call this um, left tread. And we'll try our duplicate. We're going to watch our tread to see if it bops around or anything. We have everything looks right. So we'll just try that duplicate and see what happens. Okay, everything looks like it's working good. So we have two treads there. Now let's get our script. So we'll load the script that will be here and is called tread and that's the same script as from the video where we got the thing working in the first place so that looks good um let's save because that's the thing to do we haven't actually saved this as a scene, so that's something that should be done. So we'll save that. Um, that trend is a little bit off of where I was thinking it would be. I don't know. We might want to look at that in terms of the path and bring that pathway up a little bit. See if that helps. Oh, that was a mistake. Let's save. We're going to delete this one. Delete. Okay. We'll 
we'll move the path and see if we can get things a little more the way that I figured they should look. We're going to take this right out too. This is one of those things that I'm thinking these are actually too far off and this is probably still a little too far off. bring it up. Maybe we should bring this one in a little bit too. We don't want them the treads floating off in the boonie so we're just gonna tighten this up because it's much better if the treads go a little bit into the mesh than hover around outside of it. So now we'll put in that path follow. Actually, let's save, then put it in. Um, path follow. We'll instance the link. It'll need to be rotated likely. No, it didn't, didn't need to be rotated that time. It will though when we implement this. So there's the rotation need. Um, we want to rotate it 90 degrees this way. This is a little repetitive, but it's kind of how things kind of how things go sometimes. So okay, so now we'll load that script in again. So that gets the script going. We'll go back into 3D and we'll try our duplicate and hopefully everything still works out. Control duplicate. And I don't know why that happened. Control Z. Um, I don't know what that is. There should be no rotation degrees on this at all. That should be a zero. This should be a zero. And things are just going south here. just going to go with deleting the first one and repeating that step again what's this the third time a little tiresome one okay hopefully that's gone it we'll save Control, duplicate, 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 duplicate. Okay, in the script, um, I've changed this value and sort of a little bit ahead so we don't have to screw around with that. So what we're going to need here is a camera. Let's add in a camera now. So we need to be able to see what's going on. So let's see where is everything going to be happening we called that left tread 
So let's see. Yeah, we'll get the camera out this side. And out this side. That should give us a view of what's going on. We can't feed the tread properly because it isn't in its proper location yet. So we can look at moving it into its proper location now as a left tread. We'll put it onto driver side. So we'll put it right there. F6. Now we can see the tread. It's going around the track pretty well. And that's working good. So we can start creating the duplicates. It's going to take quite a few because the tank has grown and the tread has shrunk. Well, the tread has grown and the link has shrunk is probably the better way to put it. Let's try 38. See where we get from that. That's still short. So we'll keep going. Try 45. 45 looks like it nailed it. Um, we're just looking. I don't see any spaces. So the numbers have worked out really good. Um, now what we can do is um, we can just collapse left tread. We'll select it. Control duplicate it. We'll collapse that one. We'll rename it as right tread. We'll go into its transform dialog and we'll move Z to a minus version of what it is. That will just plop it right on the other side. Let's get into a top view so we can juggle the camera around. We'll select the camera. Let's first off look at it from a side view and give it a pitch and pull it up then go to a top view we'll pull it out like this so that it's sort of in front and rotate it like that and f6 we'll see what we got okay so that's got the tanks um body and treads are together in the next video we'll come back and we'll get it moving and discover if we can get the tracks to move with its velocity so the animation to play along with the movement so that'll be in the next video i hope this one was useful a little bit of stuttering there i got a little bit stuck on that one bit but that's the way it goes, so um, until the next video, take care.